Just about everyone knows someone who's battled breast cancer and gone through often debilitating chemotherapy. What if you could find out in just days instead of months what chemo works best on your tumor? I'm going to have you hop up here for me. Patricia Nave has battled breast cancer for four years. So you know I'm just going to feel for any lymph nodes. I could not believe I had cancer. No one in my family had ever had cancer. A year ago, she found out it had spread to her bones. I had stage four bone cancer. I was devastated. Through it all, Patricia has struggled with toxic chemotherapy. Chemo was not my friend. Any swelling anywhere? And she had to wait a few months to see if the treatment was even working. This is the pixel size. Melissa Scala's research may one day help breast cancer patients like Patricia. We're excited about not only picking drugs that will work for people, but eliminating toxicities of drugs so that people um, don't have such uh, life-altering uh, toxicities from their treatment in cancer. In Scala's lab, researchers add various chemo drugs to samples of a patient's tumor. Then with special optical metabolic imaging developed by Scala, they look to see how the chemo-treated cells light up. It's how long it takes the light to come out tells us about how your cells are making energy. And the way that your cells are making energy tells us about how the drugs are working on those cells. If the cells light up blue, the chemo is working, and they see those results in 72 hours. I actually had my student repeat the experiment several times because I didn't believe the results because they were so good. We could predict that uh, after just three days of treatment in these little tumor replicates, which we didn't think was possible. Very exciting. Patricia's doctor sees great promise in this potential testing technique. It's going to help us further be able to come up with a better plan and be able to give people more hope about how well they're going to do with their cancer treatment. It's good to see you back. Scala says it will be at least five years before breast cancer patients like Patricia will be able to use the new technique. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer. Scala plans on testing her chemo response test on other types of cancer too. Why do some kids become obese? New Vanderbilt research finds their brains may be wired differently than healthy weight kids. Researchers say obese children have an imbalance between the food seeking and food avoiding parts of the brain, and diet and exercise may not be enough. The researchers recommend a therapy called mindfulness. Read more about mindfulness in this research on our website. Search obesity and mindfulness. We know babies love to reach for things. New Vanderbilt research finds a strong link between training infants to reach for an object and better attention and focus when they're older. They did the study by having the babies wear sticky Velcro mittens. Read more about it on our research page. Just search sticky mittens. For ViewCast, I'm Raven Dell.